So the idea is we should be able to find something at our house that matches stuff where we've been and seen and stuff that's at Animal Kingdom. Um, like that's Animal Kingdom. That that's Drinkwater. This is gorgeous. What's that? That was a Mustang. Oh, wow. Um, we like, don't have this, but uh, no. But sadly. that's the Himalayas. That's Mustang. <laughs> There's a the fast pass building. Yeah. This that is works. like the thing on the patio, though. That's cool. These that's windows. Cool. Yeah. Oh, let's look for windows. 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 Okay. Windows. 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 And these windows. are the windows okay. at cool. Animal Kingdom. There you, that's not Animal Kingdom, that's Nepal. What? Yeah. <laughs> okay, cool. That proves it. We're going to do windows. The Kathmandu Valley is the source of a wood carving tradition that dates back well, probably 2,000 years and has served not just the people of Nepal, but the cultures of Tibet and India, even Bhutan. Um, Nawari is the name of the people, and um, they have exported themselves for centuries and centuries as wood carvers all through the Himalayan region. So this is a classic Nawari style window with a little carved skirt on the bottom and these elaborate columns on either side, this very characteristic set of capitals. Um, and then this sort of um, carved openwork screen. You see hundreds and hundreds of these in the Kathmandu Valley uh, everywhere. Uh, and it's a living tradition today. So the wood carvers still work today, uh, carving columns and lintels and windows like this, huge architectural uh, pieces. So when it was time for us to do Anandapur at Disney's Animal Kingdom, Rather than us doing a whole bunch of designs based on us studying these windows, we went directly to these wood carvers in Nepal and commissioned all the wood from them. Columns, lintels, uh, bases, window frames, whole entire balconies. Um, and that's what you see mostly around um, Anandapur in the area around Kali River Rapids or over especially at Expedition Everest. The whole area around Expedition Everest um, was, was carved by these uh, Nawari wood carvers from the Kathmandu Valley. Um, one of the most extraordinary pieces is the Mandir, which is that multi-story uh, pagoda structure. Almost the entire surface of what you see in that building came to us from Nepal. Now it came in this condition. Um, this is a window from uh, Nepal, uh, brand new, fresh new. I got it at the Rose Bowl Flea Market here in Pasadena. Um, but then we would age it and distress it to make them look old and weathered as if they'd been there for centuries. And that's the environment you see now uh, when you go to Disney's Animal Kingdom and walk around. So it's interesting because it's not really exactly a fantasy. It represents kind of a real place, Anandapur and the area around Expedition Everest, which we call Serkazong. They aren't real, they are fictional, but they represent real places because we want to talk about real things. And the level of realism partially comes from the fact that these objects are real, made by real people in real places.